Why would you want to do that? Somebody asked me online why I was doing a home zone on radon. Did I have headaches or something like that? No. And by the way, radon can't give you headaches. What happened was I noticed my neighbor was putting in a radon mitigation system. Then I decided to test for my own levels. Those levels, if high enough, can give you lung cancer over time. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer behind smoking. It's in the ground and in your house and seeps up through anything including a concrete basement. Here's how I checked for radon. I went on Amazon and got this tester from AirThings. It has similar accuracy to EPA kits and has positive reviews. Unlike the EPA kits, it can be used over and over again and shared with family and friends when you're done. Simply open the back and put in the batteries and set it down somewhere not in direct sunlight. It should be a few feet off the ground and away from airflow like a door or a window. You basically want the detector to check the stagnant air in your home. You'll see dashes for several hours and then numbers will start to appear. The EPA wants your radon levels below 4. Those are picocuries, which is the level of measurement. Anything above that, they suggest addressing it. For best results, don't move the tester. Just check it daily for about a week or two looking at the average. After about two weeks, mine upstairs was double what it should be at the max. 7 and 9 picocuries, and in the basement, 14. But you can greatly lessen the amount of radon with a radon fan system. You're basically pumping the air beneath your home up and out using a sump pit if you have one. Typically the pit fills with water you don't want flooding your basement and then it's pumped out. But using a bigger pipe down into that pit and sealed can also be used to pull the air out from underneath your house and eject it. The fan is either on the outside of your home or in my case in the attic connected by 3-inch piping and then vented out the roof. By the way, the lower the level in your house, like the basement down there, the higher the levels of radon. That's because it's closer to the ground source of the radon. After putting in that radon mitigation system, check out the long-term average. It's no longer 14, it's below 1. Specifically, 0.59. For Fox 59, I'm Scott Jones. If you would like more information on radon testers, you can go, or in the radon Scott fan used, you can, inside of his home, you can go to our website, fox 59com then click on Morning News, and then click on the Home Zone tab. You can also check out other Home Zone projects that mm -hmm. we have done so far. And of course, if you have anything that you're doing at home, let them know, and then can help.